First question right here in the front row. Coach, Scott Sargent, WFNY. Good win, but were you given an explanation on what happened with those two technical fouls with Draymond in the third quarter? Um, what do you mean? It's, it's, it's easy to shrug off, obviously, given the, what the magnitude of the game, but he was called in the official scorer's box at 155 in the first for a technical foul, called again midway through the third for a technical foul, and that it appeared the first one was rescinded. I wondered if you were given an explanation as to why that Oh, happened. okay, yeah. Well, Mike Callahan told me that um, the first one they called was on Steve Kerr, um, and I said, well, it's right here on the box, on, on the sheet, that it was on Draymond, and our scores table people said the same thing, but... Um, Evidently, he said, um, no, it was on Steve Kerr, the first one. So that was the explanation. Fourth row towards the middle. Coach Spencer Davies, Basketball Insiders. The way that Tristan set the tone for you guys uh, from an energy standpoint there in the first quarter and, and just sustained it all the way through, how can you guys bring that mentality to Golden State knowing that when you do have that kind of energy, that's the product you get? Well, we just got to bring it, you know, however we got to do it. And um, – you know, I stick with my guys, you know, and um, Tristan was great. You know, JR has been great these last two games. And, um, you know, these guys got us here, and I'm sticking with my guys. I'm not going to change my lineup. And um, like you said, Tristan was big tonight. JR was big. And um, we got to bring the same intensity and same effort, you know, in the Golden State on Monday. Coach Ty, Ray Jasky, ESPN 990. How do you explain the first quarter? You're, the demoralizing defeat, down 3-0, and oh, and 49 points, all kinds of records. The offensive explosion, the defensive intensity. How do you just explain what your team was able to, to manifest tonight? Well, we made shots, and we've been getting these shots all series. Uh, we haven't shot the ball um, very well. Um, but defensively, you know, we got stops early and was able to get out in transition and score some easy baskets. And, you know, Kevin really shot the ball well. You know, um, Draymond, you know, he's one of the best help defenders in the league. And um, tonight when he was helping, you know, we made him pay. And Kevin made shots. And... Um, you know, we're making shots and we're playing with pace. Um, we're a tough team to beat, and this is who we are. You know, we're a tough, resilient team. And, you know, we know it was down 3-0, but we um, thought we gave a game away in game three. So um, we knew this team was beatable. We knew we can play better, and um, this is the result you get when we play at our best. Also, Coach, would you say that uh, getting production out of JR, that that third score, uh, besides the big three, maybe a fourth score, that, that that's what you needed? Yeah, I mean, JR's an assassin, so to take his shots. And uh, we talked to him about, you know, trying to make plays. Like, I need you to shoot the basketball and be a scorer. And he's been shooting the ball well, and he's made some big shots. Um, defensively, he's been really good. So, Jack, you know, continue to ride this wave, you know, going to Golden State on Monday. Al over here. Al Sarasovic, San Francisco Chronicle. Uh, the third quarter got very testy. Um, can you uh, tell us what uh, you can about what happened between LeBron and Kevin Durant? And then is that, is that as intense as you've seen uh, these two teams go at it um, or any teams in the finals? I mean, I don't know about any teams, but our team um, for sure. And, you know, when you're down 3-0 and you're fighting and you're, you know, you're trying to get a win, you know, you do whatever it takes. And, you know, I thought our team was, you know, very energetic. I thought Shump came in and gave us some great minutes, some great energy. Um, LeBron, you know, just we had a, a total team effort. You know, it was a total team effort. But I thought we really brought a physicality to the game. Um, we had a purpose. And um, we cut down on some of our mistakes we've been making those first three games. And um, mm -hmm. we was able to play well. Anything on what LeBron and Durant were getting after there? I don't know. I mean, I don't. <laughs> All right. Rachel in the front. You must give a hell of a pregame speech. No speech. No speech at all? Nope. What did you say to them before him? We watched film, um, showed our mistakes that we have to get better at, that we you know, can't continue to make because they make you pay. And um, I thought overall, you know, we made some mistakes. And, of course, you are against a team like this. But, um, you know, overall, I thought we really did a good job of cutting down on our mistakes and showed them the film and just told them, you know, one game at a time. And the, the guys' mindset, they was ready to play. So it wasn't, you know, it wasn't time for a speech. You usually say more than that and you decide no, to hold it back this time? or I never don't? speak before the game or after the game. Joe. I don't. <laughs> I know about the app. <laughs> JoeVardenCleam.com. Uh, did you get an explanation on the double text with Pachulia and Shumpert instead of, you know, focusing on the on the couple punches that, that Pachulia had thrown there? Yeah, I mean – 
It's just tough, and you know, I, I really, I, I hate to complain. So, um, I know officiating is tough, and um, but you know, when you go review, when you go review situations, you know, they usually get it right. And so, if they didn't call it, then you know, I guess it wasn't anything. I haven't really seen it yet. So, um, they went and reviewed it. Um, that's all you can ask. And they came back, just said a jump ball. So, you know, we jumped it up. When uh, and then a, a, on a different level um you know being down 3-0 losing the way you did um there's a lot of room f to be demoralized when did you know or think or feel like your guys would come out and play like this tonight um this morning shoot around um, i started to shoot around um had a great vibe in the, in the shoot around and um guys were upbeat um wasn't no hanging heads or or sad you know guys was you know they were into it and um you know, Golden State's a tough team. We understand that, but we just felt that we've gotten better each game, and we felt if we played our basketball and make shots and play our brand of basketball, that we can win. So um, tonight was, you know, who we who we are. You know, we made shots, and defensively, I thought we were pretty good. Phil and Dave, last two questions. Right in front of you, Ty. Uh, Phil Barber, Santa Rosa Press Democrat. You're down 3-1, heading back to Oakland. It sounds familiar. How much confidence? do you think your team can derive from last year's experience? Well, um, we got to come back home, so we might well come back with a win. You know, um, that's our mentality. And um, we know it's a tough environment, you know, to play in. Uh, we played well there before. So, you know, we have the same approach that we had tonight of, you know, physicality, you know, locking in defensively, um, cutting down on some of our mistakes. And we shoot the ball well, then we have great chances. Dave, standing on the left. Dave McMenamin, ESPN. Ty, I apologize if you addressed this early on in the press presser, but um, you had 31 threes through the first three games on 104 attempts. Tonight you go 24 in the game, most ever in a finals game in league history. What do you think changed on that end? It seemed to me, you know, J.R. Smith's, you know, let it fly attitude permeated throughout the whole group. Well, I just thought, you know, we got some of the same shots throughout the course of the series. And, you know, we've talked about it, myself, you, Joe, um, Jason. And, you know, we haven't been making shots. You know, we haven't been shooting the ball well. But, um, you know, when we shoot the ball well, these are the type of explosions we can have offensively. So, um, you know, we got to make shots, and we understand that. But our fans were great tonight, you know, um, being down 3-0 and, you know, coming into this building. I mean, they gave us a lot of energy and a lot of juice and um, gave us a lot of fight. So, um Believe Land's not going to give up, and we're going to keep fighting. We're going to keep scrapping. Thank you, Coach. You don't like that, Joe? Okay. All right.